It's hard. Here, I'm going to do this. So here's Anna grinding up the peanuts. Here are the peanuts fresh from the fields. And they pour them in the top bucket there. And grind it. And here's how it comes out. So what we need for this meal is some green onions, one onion, some seasonings, and this is the seed of the locust bean tree, which has been fermented. Looks like we're going to put two of these in. They've been fermented and then dried, so they give like a real strong seasoning, which is very distinct for this dish. And it's called tigam puti. This is called booty. And tiga is peanut, so it's peanut and booty. They're the main two ingredients that signify this dish. And here we have the rice that we're going to be making. Any kind of rice will do. Scoop up and swish. Uh -huh. When you let your hand up on the top water. Okay, so here in the Gambia they wash rice a couple times, so this is the second wash. If it was dirty, they might wash it three times. And then just out the water. Okay, so as they drain the rice here and get it nice and cleaned up, um, we're going to get to the cooking it and put it in the kitchen. We're cooking here with our friend Haja. Haja, kamera ke haiwa. Yo, my friend Haja, this is my friend Haja, and um, she's going to help us make this dish. It's one of my favorites. Here's the kitchen. They usually cook, o cook over three stones and put some firewood in it. So we just need to wait until it steams and then we'll get started with the other part. Get the one that, um. Okay, you gotta chop that up fine, otherwise they get. They're, they're used to it really fine. So. <laughs> yes, really fine. Fresh. Well, nice and cool. So just washing the green onions and chopping the regular onion pretty fine. We're doing it local style so you don't use a chopping board, you should just do it in your hands. And the knife is usually not sharp enough to hurt you too bad. And when all that's chopped, we're going to put it into the mortar and pestle and pound it together. We'll see that in a little bit. Oh, okay. So the booty, the locust bean seed, is being added, put into the, the bowl first. You. And just gently pounding it. Booty banana. We didn't show you this earlier, but there's some dried fish going in here. I'm guessing you could use any dried fish. I know you have lots of different types out there, so just pick a nice one and we're going to add it to the locust bean seeds in a little bit. We're just going to take as many bones as we can out. Oh, I wrote on there to remember some things that we still haven't remembered. Grinding? Bit high up to you.
to watch this too. She's going to take it out. So now we've added all the ingredients to the ground peanuts. And now it's just left to add the seasonings and then cook it. So now it's going to steam. All right, so the peanut and the all the green onion and the onion and the booty have all steamed. So she's gonna take it out now. My can be had I'm not going to dance that. Yep. Okay, so this is the way they steam here. They put an old cloth around the sides and seal it up. So now we can take the steamer off. And put the rice into the boiling water. salt to taste. Okay, so here I am with Hadja. Hadja's the one that's to make out to And she's a friend of ours. In fact, some of you in the Caribbean have met her. So she just wanted to send a message to you. So she's met Shelly and she's met uh, Dania and Marion Jacobs and some others of you I don't know who's watching. But she says she misses you, she thinks of you. So while she was steaming the peanuts on top of the rice, she also added a little bit of water just to help the steaming. And now it's all done. So it's just left to take it out of the cooking pan and mix it all up thoroughly so all the rice is covered with the seasoning and the peanuts. Come, come here. <laughs> she says, This is how you eat it. You 
squeeze it into a yeah. ball. And enjoy. Hari Oda Hamis there. Isn't the feeling why Karuna is a how and the other hand? So she said, We all had a hand in cooking it. <laughs> so eating in the Gambia is different to eating in the countries we're going to. So, uh, first of all, you are allowed to eat with your hands. Secondly, if you're going to drop anything, if you want to. Hang do what, Anna? Yeah, Where are you going to drop it? You're going to drop it on the floor. You don't want to drop it back in the bowl because everyone's sharing the same bowl.